Hello, hello, it is I, Dr. White Cat, and I am back here playing Wandering Village, uh, which is, if you haven't seen it before, a game all about building a village on top of a gigantic kaiju. Uh, this is, I was playing this game on Friday. I, I don't remember what day I got to, but I've heard that day 100 has some crazy things happen. Uh, but no one's really told me what those things are. Alright, it's day 59, so I'm only about halfway through. Okay, we're currently running at 1. Anbu's Hunger is 22. What's the map look like? We've made our decision, we're going north. Alright. So let's see, we got our mushrooms going there. Good morning, good morning, Janu. Hello, hello. Hope you've got your coffee out. Alright, I... Now I have to quickly... Alright, do I have anything... Alright, no one's scavenging right now. So I'm gonna send a party out to the quarry. Alright, so we've got our water... Got water game collected here. We've got 223 water. Everything's looking good there. Okay, he's getting sleepy. He's a little bit hungry. But he's a happy boy. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna throw some food up to him. Ah! Because he's a good boy and he's keeping us alive. Bio extractor researched. Okay. Uh, why was I wanting to. I don't remember why I wanted to research the bio extractor. Now, what do I need bio extractors for? Uh, see Forrester, what what am I currently What is the current research? Uh sleep command on boo accident now. Yeah, Wandering Village is pretty chill. Currently researching the decontaminator. Okay. Good. Uh what do I have this? Okay, so the next thing we're going to have research is the Forester, then the Iron Furnace, and the Glass Blower. Got it. Alright. Yeah, Wandering Village sounds pretty chill. Hello, hello, Lil Mon. How's it going? Uh, let's see. No one's unemployed. Currently, everyone's making everyone's cooking some making up some beets i've got a doctor which i can pro i have one person that's poisoned so it's all good but uh yeah how are you uh, janu wilmon how are you guys doing today it's like i feel like the filter is screwing up a little bit so There. Uh, it's it's all right, little bon. I was kind of disappointed, but also not surprised. 
That tends to be how it goes with the uh, with events on the server. People have a tendency to not to sign up and say that they're showing up and then they aren't. But it also probably didn't help that I changed the day. It originally it was going to be Saturday, and then I had to reschedule it to Saturday to Sunday as a result of uh, and it was something that my girlfriend had asked me about, but not. Had asked me about and then for, never reminded me of until the very last second. Uh, Anbu's poison level's 12. He's getting a bit sleepy. Uh, let's see, I've got plenty of planks, good bit of stone slab, lots of wooden stone, some saplings, so. Scavenging party just got back. Alright, we're going to be picking up some scavengers soon. Ooh. Oh, I already quarried that. Uh, an oasis. A poison forest? Sure. Let's, let's go, let's send you guys off into the poison. We've got, we've got plenty of herbs. Alright, so John is doing well. He had some new adventures. Got a food stand. That'll at least feed these guys. You're making berry muesli, you're making beet soup. Good, good, good. So now we're producing 17 above the number of people that we have, so everything's working out well. He is getting to be a sleepy boy, though. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna rec... I'm gonna recommend that he... that he lies down. We got a leash from Maui for a first attempt we had mixed results. Oh uh, Maui is a cat, correct? It's a, yeah, but I think because Maui Maui's your cat, Nala is your dog. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Maui Hey. I don't remember and I you'll have to forgive me, I don't remember what your other cat's name is. Yeah, but go let him lie down just to get some rela relaxation. Oh, but he's laying down, so his so there's a higher toxicity level. Ta oh, sorry, Tala, Tala with a T. Right. Ambu went to sleep. Got toxicity. What you, what's your problem? Bad housing quality, bad food quality. Well, crap. Yeah. Maui wouldn't let you put the leash on. He just kind of plopped down and wouldn't move. I'm not too surprised by that. Uh, I get a similar... Get a similar response from Ghost. Uh, especially the first time I ever put it on her when she was a kitten. I mean, right now he isn't having... He's currently a sleepy boy. His poison level's high. It's gonna let him continue to sleep. Uh, with, with Ghost, she also just doesn't like being outside anyway. I've taken her... Like, I'll take her outside. I've taken her outside into the... Uh, I just outside my door and she just sits there and doesn't want to just kind of stands right outside the door doesn't want to go anywhere and uh, she just doesn't like being doesn't like being a an outside ghost
No tools available yet, because you don't have compost. My question is, I don't know if, if you don't have the compost, if they worry about it. Maui's 27 pounds, too small. The house is a bit too small, and he's only three. Yeah, 23 pounds is a bit heavy for a cat. I can I can see how that could end up giving him a little bit of problems. Let's see if I put this here, I could have more saplings. Honestly, that would have been the better place to put the to put the tree nursery. Any, but oh well. We got a tree nursery here for the mother tree. Oh, uh, they're scavenging out there. If we're gonna run in, oh wait, they're scavenging. I'm not gonna hit the nomads for a couple minutes while Anbu sleeps. And his poison level's only at 18%. It's fine. It'll be okay for now. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are poisoned, but it's fine. Okay, is there anywhere that I can reduce the number of people? We got 77 herbs, so herb doctor, hurry the hell up and, and work. Let's see, how close are they to... Alright, they're still only about halfway through scavenging the village. Okay, so the village. Oh, okay, so the village doctor has to walk around to to heal people. One thing, I, one thing I enjoy about this game is that it's very dynamic. I can only even have. Maybe I'll do. I'll take someone off of the tree nursery for right now because I don't have the forester yet. We've got, we've got lots and lots of water now, so it should, should hold us for a bit. Uh, but I should probably build a water tank. Okay, one thing this game is missing is you can't ro is you're not able to rotate. I think camera control, like a camera rotation would be useful. Or being able to rotate the buildings. Which is present in many other games. Now now I've got two people, I've got two village doctors working. And the village doctor it seems just has to kind of walk up to everyone else and heal them. He has to go get some he has to go get some herbs. The okay, Anbu's currently at forty five percent sleepiness, but he's also kind of he's slowly getting poisoned. Luckily he doesn't go get sleepy quickly. See, I don't have an herbalist free here. I have 77 herbs right now, so that isn't a huge problem. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. I really do like the design that they gave on Boo. I mean, because he looks very natural, or at least as natural as you can be as a six-legged beast with no with no eyes. I mean, but a very craggy body. Pick them up. Five people added to the village. Okay, so that's more people. It's, all right, I'm gonna have two people be. Two people will work at the Anbu doctor to keep him from being poisoned. Uh, that adds that adds an herbalist to continue growing things for me. Anyone else that's on only one other unemployed person. Uh, you're making compost. I'm not using that yet. Yeah. So who? Where do I want my last unemployed person? Uh, let's see. That is a quarry. So no, ooh, that's a ruined settlement. So I'll go over to the ruined settlement and see what they've got there. Uh, decontaminator. Using biogas or okay. Use it. Biogas or Anbu fuel. Okay, the decontaminator. And I got. Uh, biogas came from. How do you make biogas? Medicine, glass blower. Uh, like, how do you make biogas? Either biogas or Anbu bile as fuel. But you finished Monument Valley? I don't actually know that game. The compost heap makes compost. Oh, okay. Or I can use use it to make biogas. All right. So I'm gonna s tell them to stop using compost, and then someone can, yeah. All right. I guess you're gonna be working at the dung collector. So it might be worthwhile to build a faster path to get over here. There, faster. And so that should help people get over here get between here and here a bit faster since it's a dirt path. Oh, gotcha. I need to actually send someone to him. Reduces 20%. Okay. Antidote. Okay, your ears. You should be collecting dung. Oh, which I guess you're only gonna collect dung when he poops. Uh, his hunger is at twelve. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna just make an additional doctor just to keep people alive. But what's what's Monument Valley about? I'm not familiar with it. OK, 
Okay, so... Oh, wait. Oh, well, so I'm short on housing, so I need to build an additional house here. Uh, five people are badly poisoned. One herbalist, two doctors. A puzzle adventure game similar to in the style of MC Escher. Okay. Sounds like that could be a good bit of fun there. Okay, Anbu, when are you gonna wake up? Is sleepiness at thirteen? So still got a little bit of time before he start before he stands up and stops being so poisoned. And I know that there is a villager with your name here, Jono. I just can't remember where he is. I don't know what he does, but he is here. Well, I'm right there. I'm, a, I'm apparently a berry gatherer. Uh, Thurston, Joella, Grizz. Nightbot. He's probably wandering around again, probably. Alphonse, Justine. Another thing would be if there was a way to actually look at your villagers and see them. Cause it'll show me it'll show me idle villagers, but it doesn't show me just villagers in general. Alright, he's got five percent sleepiness, he'll be waking up soon. I, mean, I could also just start ordering people, just giving people different names. Uh, there's, there, Mads can have a villager. Hail, you'll become. Uh, hopefully, there, I'm not gonna make a second. Hopefully, there wasn't already someone named Lil Bon, but whatever. Ultra Ball. Uh, nah, I don't need an ultra ball to catch a snubble. Great ball. There, hut. Some more people have a place to sleep. Yeah, it's because he has to walk the whole way over here to get dung. Okay, Anbu's no longer resting. He's standing up, so his air tox the air toxicity should become lower. And people shouldn't be getting nearly as shouldn't be getting poisoned as easily. It'll be all dandy. Alright, Anbu. Get get moving. Okay, Anbu evacuated his bowels, so we should have some poop to get. Alright, need to be on the lookout for toxic plants. Lightly poisoned air. Alright, where, where are they going to be poisonous plants? Somewhere. Come on, guys. You can survive not being poisoned. On day 64. Also, I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. I I do want to get to day. Harvest the poisonous plant. High priority that we get rid of the poisonous plant. 
any other poisonous plants around. Oop. Harvest it. Make all the poisonous... Alright. Harvest. High priority. Where else? Where else is a poisonous plant? Because we don't want it reproducing. Any other poisonous plants? Ah, oh, someone died of poison. And I even just made a house for them. That bastard. Yeah, poison plants, high priority. Oh, whoops. Pick him up. Picked up a hu one hungry person. Picked them up. Okay, good. Alright, uh... No other villages. Anything we need right now. Like we lose nothing by getting X by going to the oasis. Having resources is always a good idea. Since you're missing resources, there's not really any resource you need. Okay, I have 60 housing, so let me pop another hut down here. Yeah, it's high priority that you get rid of these, these plants for me. Come on, guys. Destroy these plants. We must destroy the plants now. Okay, you're waiting for a doctor to heal you. So I can I can accept that you're you're just kind of standing there. You need a doctor. Good. Okay, I don't think there are any other poison plants as far as I can see. All right, good, good. We got plenty of water. For right now. Oof. Uh, so if I go south, that'll take me into a desert, into a desert, and possibly into a spore cloud. If I go north, that'll absolutely take me. If I go north, I'll I could run into some nomads, but I'll go into a poison area. Uh, I'm just going to scavenge for other resources. I got wooden sand. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to head south. I could have sworn I had a twi the Twitch integration. Oh. Oh, I'm not connected to Twitch right now. Well, that, that's lame. Okay. Nah, okay. If I, if, I guess I have to remember to connect to Twitch every single, every stream that I do this. Because uh, otherwise you guys could have gotten in the way of me doing that. If you wanted to. So 
So now I know that Lomon did not have a villager name for her because she was not in the stream previously. Okay, so I have four unemployed workers. Okay, herb. Okay, right now I'm actually pretty low on herbs now. Uh, the Anbu doctor has has 40 herbs right now. They're doing fine. But as we head south, we're going to have to we're going to have to deal with the fact that there's going to be no water, and I'll have to convert someone over to harvesting cactus. But that should also lower my toxicity levels. Okay, I'm currently researching the forester. Okay, so right now... So once I... Once this is gone, I'll have more play, uh, more farmland. Uh, this I can deconstruct because it's not harvesting anything anymore. Yeah, Toxic Spore Cloud again. Hey, it is high priority that you get rid of that before it poisons the whole village. Hey, that's already been marked for destruction. Yeah, so it's told that day 100 has some crazy shit happen. Uh, additional dirt road right there. Any other poison plants? No, I think we snuffed that out pretty quick. Uh, right there, but that's already marked for destruction. That's marked for destruction. Good. Okay, so now, all right, guys, pause for a second. You guys are gonna be planting cactuses. You guys will continue to plant beets, and go. All of these are going to stop producing water, but I have luckily got lots and lots of water stored in all of them. So I should be okay. Uh, send a shrine to get... Ooh, good. There are nomads hanging out on the path for me. I have 66 housing, so it should be fine. Oh wait, shit, it isn't beets that you can grow in this. It is corn. I completely forgot that it's corn that grows in this weather, not beets. Unboos in the desert now. I'm about to finish researching the forester. I'm going to put the Forester... See, so I put the Forester right here. That'll maximize his wood production.
Harvest this tree and then we'll put a dirt road on it. Because right now they're just kind of walking here and then time to walk through the woods a little bit. Uh, who's unemployed? Okay, five unemployed workers, so I can undisable this now that. Now that I have someone there. So all this time I could have been just cutting down all these trees for wood. This giant trunk will be gone soon enough. Got plenty of water buckets just hanging out. These are all going to decompose because they can't grow in this weather. Anbu's getting to be a sleepy boy. Yeah, once he reaches the sleep, once he reaches the comfy spot, I'll I'll tell him to go to bed. But also, do need to feed him. I'm going to have you continue to make biogas for me. Okay, you're reaching a place that's nice and comfy. I'm going to wait for him to actually step into it before... Alright, scavenging party returned. I want you guys to go to the oasis to get water. Unboo's not yet standing where I need him to be. I'm also going to catch this little moa. Okay. Lie down. Okay. Because he, he's just going to have to sleep. I've got the workers just working on planning planning stuff. The doctor is the doctors are working on getting Hilton the decontaminator. What are you working on now? Uh, the iron furnace. Okay. So I can also evacuate his bell so Dung Collector can get more poop for us. Good job, good job. Anbu's current poison level is 20. So let's give him an antidote. Give him an antidote because he's a good boy. They're building the Forester. Basically, you're just going to fill out all of your area. Every possible place where you can plant a tree, you will plant a tree and harvest it. But you are not to harvest the Anbu spike. You will have to plant around it.
Okay, that should be a, a little bit of a quicker path between Dung Collector and Compost Heap. I still have two unemployed workers. I'm also going to harvest all this. Because I've got enough people harvesting berries here that it should be okay. He's not very hungry, so that's fine. Ah, uh, they're still scavenging. How many beats do you still have? Ah, uh, we, st we still have a fine number of beats and berries for now, so we'll be f sorry things going fine there. I want you guys to harvest some wood here. Trying to be very careful that I do not harvest the mother tree. Cactus, cactus production's going well. Only six more wood from here. You don't like the housing quality, you can go kiss my ass. Right now it's all we've got. Scavenging party brought back more water. Good job, guys. I guess I'll send you to the mine to get ore. While we're working on this, I think glass blower. Laboratory. Black pudding. I'm trying not to do the things that harm Anbu because I like Anbu and I don't want him to be. I don't want him to be an angry Anbu. Village. Which now? Okay, I don't have any knowledge right now. And I need knowledge for literally everything else. So I'm currently researching the Iron Furnace. Yeah, I really hadn't been thinking when I placed that nur the tree nursery. Anbu's still resting, but he's starting to get up. Wags his tail, because he's a good boy. My day 69, nice. Still have two peep Missing resources. Oh, you need to continue to grow herbs for me, friend. The decontaminator is using biofuel. Is is getting some biofuel to use. Currently still have 25 dung for him to play with. Luckily, we still have a solid 223 water available. You're still you're still using up beets.
Okay, you work for the forester. Keeping wood going. The farming is the most important place. At least to me, it's the most important. Okay, that. I think this is probably the closest place where I can. Okay, so putting it between these two trees is not really going to make it that much more efficient. And that'll be the fastest path to get. Up to it. There. We got another tree nursery going. Tree nursery will bring saplings to the tree. Alright. I think this is going to go pretty dandy. So far, uh, two, one, only. See, four people are still poisoned, so that's less than ideal. Let's feed on Boo. Oh, shit, who tore out a spike? Oh, yeah, whoops. Someone harvested a spike, but it'll, it'll be okay. Pick them up. Three healthy, three more healthy people. All right, I've still got enough housing for them. Two more wood from the, someone. So the sawmill needs to do two more to get rid of this giant trunk. I accidentally destroyed, removed one of Anbu's spikes, made him a sad boy, and I apologize. What was that about? I don't know what that was about. He seemed like he was getting upset about something. Either that or he was responding. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, don't worry about clearing these bushes here. Uh, worker posts, just be general workers all day. Forty-six percent of the way through. Still doing fine on water. I'll send you guys the sand dunes to make. So we can get sand since we will be making a glass blower eventually. Okay, you're at it. You can start making polenta. 
Because it ran out of beats. Scavenging party brought back ore. Why are you getting why are you getting sassy here, Anbu? Okay, I can only pet Anbu every fifteen minutes. Night sandstorm that might damage your most fragile buildings. Airwell collapsed. Okay. More places where you guys can plant. Another airwell. Oh no, that's the same airwell uh, collapsed. Let's see. I'm going to say when we reach. When we reach this crossroads, that we should go south. If anyone wishes to disagree with me. Actually, I wonder what happened. Eh. I'm going to vote yes. Because voting yes is what will succeed for me. Because I do want it to happen. Alright, Anbu's gonna accept. Good job. They're gonna they're repairing that. Okay, you guys are just building the tree nursery. I have five unemployed workers. But none of them are idle. Come on, guys. Just start, start constructing the tree nursery. We've got Pilgrimton, Moosley. I feel like it's a little bit more important to me that the poison plants get cleared. He's just, he's just like, I'm going to go get some more biogas. Tree nursery complete. Hundred and thirty, hundred and fourteen, these mines are gonna be going for a while. I can deconstruct this quarry since you know, they're not they're not doing this anymore. I feel like I'm making enough food for Anbu at this rate that I don't need I don't really need to add more people to it. I can I can put more more plots down though. Mm -hmm. 
Scavenging party brought back sand. Good job, guys. My water is still doing fine, so I'm just gonna send people to go grab more. Go grab more sand for the glass blower. Not sure why all these general workers aren't just doing their thing. Most people aren't super worried about. I don't really seem to be super worried about food out here. I have 11 general workers. You guys are planting cactus. You guys are planting corn. Right, so this guy produces a near infinite, near infinite uh, wood. I'm only focused on harvesting trees here. Ooh, that's a... That's a mother tree over here. Try and be very careful that I don't mark the mother trees for removal. Uh, ask them for shelter. Give them, hey, I'm gonna offer them some water and ask for shelter. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. They brought back a bunch of corn for me. There certainly could have been worse, worse things. No one will be idle. If you're if you're not building if you're not building anything and you're not employed, I want you harvesting trees. My food production's not going great, but it'll be okay. See, do I tell him to lie down? Oh, he's gonna lie down anyway. He's gonna lie down and rest anyway, so it'll be fine. How many houses do I have? 66. I don't have enough I do not have enough knowledge to keep going down the line and learning I'm gonna kind of make cottages so I'm just gonna make another another hut here so 
So he's gonna be a sleepy boy. His hunger is slightly increasing, but that's all fine. Herbs are able to grow in this environment, so it's good. Right, I'm gonna set that at a higher priority to actually destroy that mine for destroy the stone mine. This mostly because I wanted to get rid of it. It's not doing anything except taking up space. Oh, I was looking at the completely wrong thing. Because he's going to auto-harvest the trees anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. No, I don't have anyone currently scavenging. That was a bad choice on my part. Anbu's done resting. Good boy. Standing up, moving around. Yeah, Anbu's a happy boy. Now there's... Alright, I've got plenty of housing right now. But I am going to be happy to get out of here. Alright, settlement, I can't... Can't raid the settlement yet. Okay, Iron Furnace was just... A blocked path. Uh, I'll just gather sand at the oasis. And you guys can go to the settlement. Our population's happy. Once we cross this margin... Beat. Switch to beats. You're also going to switch to beats. Uh, you're, you're out of stuff for Barry Moosley. So actually I can probably decrease... I'll decrease people in that kitchen because they're not making a lot of Barry Moosley. There, are no, there aren't enough berries to sustain three people doing Barry Moosley. The Iron Forge. Okay, yeah, you don't have enough we don't have enough knowledge to research it. And a jungle biome. A low air toxicity. They're, they're scavenging out in a village right now. Uh, of course there's a toxic cloud. Temporarily increase the number of people that are decontaminators. High priority removal of disease things.
The decontaminator's normal response is just to burn that shit down. Decontaminators are on the case. Uh, hey guys. Pickup sellers. Okay, there you go. He's burning that shit down. You've collected things, the trees are gone. Any other poison plants that we can see out here? He's just gonna incinerate it. Yep, send a party, get knowledge. I think knowledge is probably one of the more important things to find here. Food production's increased. Okay. No more poison plants, so I'm gonna decrease the number of people that work in the decontaminator. Uh, you're pretty much full up on biogas, so I'm gonna switch over to compost for the time being. Pop a dirt road there. I have ten unemployed, ten people unemployed out here. Come on, guys. I would say overall, this is this has been going pretty well. Uh, this is a feeding spot. That area is po Okay, so this area is gonna be poisoned. I don't really want to go in there. But in the poison area, there's a lot of knowledge. So, I feel like I just, I feel like I should just risk it and head north through here for the sake of scavenging up some knowledge. I feel like getting knowledge is an important part of this mission. I'm sure I can make more than one scavenging party. I'm sure I could make more than one scavenger hunt hut in order to help me make these decisions. Because if I had two scavenger parties, there are times where that'd be super useful. Okay, as soon as they get done scavenging here, I'm gonna have them scavenge this this knowledge. Because this will take me back into a desert. Which I've already recovered the amount of wa I've already recovered from my water, so that's not too bad. Okay, back back to normal. See. At the upcoming crossroads, you 
Yeah, they're there scavenging. If he goes out of range of a, play, of a scavenging party, do they just return? If he lays down ground toxicity, will be high. I think they do continue to scavenge, even if he's not, even if they're not able to see him. So I'm gonna leave it alone. All right, so I'm gonna tell him to go south. Yes, he should comply. Please have Anbu comply with my direction, with my directives. But today I've got, I've been, this week and next week I'm gonna have Monday streams. Good, Anbu accepted my command. Come on, guys. You gotta make food. Okay, so I, once they come back, I should be able to research the glass blower. Okay, I feel like next one would be cottage. I don't know when they're getting back from from scavenging, but should be hopefully soon. All right, they're at fifty percent on scavenging. They've got all the sand they can possibly hold on to. You guys are out of corn. My workers have been very hard at work getting rid of all these berries. Uh, 94% efficiency berry hut? Sure. How much? I've got four pe- I feel like- I feel like food for Anbu is going fine. Um... Oh wait, he does have eyes, they're just very, very small and hard to see from the top-down view. Send them to this shrine. B 
because we're walking away from it. I mean, these, these guys also have pretty high efficiency, but... Come on, 93% on berries? That's pretty good. Entered the desert biome, so I need to... Okay, you guys need to go back to cactus farming. You guys gotta go back to corn farming. furnace. I mean, either way, I was going to walk out of, out of range of them, so. If one of those two, so. Having them scavenge back there is fine. Alright, I'm working on the glass blower. Uh, we can deconstruct this hut to get more more land for farming. And how many people do I have unemployed? Six. I have six unemployed workers, so they can they can harvest berries. Making compost. I've got 17 spare biogas. I mean, I think they're doing fine. Uh, that's a material storage. Oh, I need I need more storage. I feel like that's that's something I always tend to overlook in these types of games is store is having a place to store materials because then people stop working because they've got nowhere to put to put the materials that they're harvesting Anbu pooped Anbu poops so we're collecting his poo Uh, you can't store... I mean, we're not... Right, food isn't a big deal right now because I'm not overproducing food. Which, the fact that I'm not overproducing, that I don't have spare food is probably not a great idea. I've just been consuming right on the edge of... I feel like as far as efficient... I feel like this is probably the most efficient place I could put this. I could put that farm is right here. Now people have more places to store resources, particularly wood, since I've got wood just out the wazoo everywhere. I 
Anbu is a sleepy boy. Uh, is my, where's my scavenger party? Uh, they're at 63%. Okay, cool. And add more plots, more farming plots. I'm actually gonna put wheat harvesting as the next thing that I plant. They've got bad production, but they also have full inventories anyway, so I don't really care. He's a tired boy. Ooh, wild Jigglypuff. Pokey catch, great ball. I should be running at great ball soon, too. But. Got beet soup and berry muesli. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the on these guys making beet soup because they very well soon. You're gonna plant in all the places you can plant, and you are going to be planting corn for the time being. Uh, I'm gonna lose both of these. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna lose both of them as we move, so I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Alright, I have only one unemployed worker now. Jigglypuff escapes curses. Yeah, I don't think there's a place where all three of the where I'm gonna have more than two at a time. Warehouse constructed. Just because I do keep uh, warehouse constructed, because I do keep just not doing the things. And that's because you guys are looking for compost. How much compost do I have? I only have 20. Uh, yeah, you don't have to use compost. Mostly because I'm not producing enough enough compost to actually make it be a, be useful. Yeah, and you keep filling your inventory. Hello, ghost. Keep filling your inventory with with wood. But hopefully, the fact that I've gotten I guess it would be worthwhile to have a worker post as well. Like, missing resources. There's water everywhere. Just go get it. Okay. Oh, got it. You just, they just hadn't collected their water up yet. Oh, dirt road needs to be right here. 
I didn't need this dirt road or this dirt road. Uh, you you guys need to go back to making polenta. Yeah. You guys make corn. On the plus side, though, he is just sleeping. Reserved iron. Why would why would I have two reserved iron? That's what I really want to know is why would I why do I have reserved iron? One thing I am noticing, I don't think they are actually efficient enough to use all the, all their growing space. So the fact that these two sitting next to each other should be helpful because they can both reach the same growing areas. Seeing you're missing resources, you've got 13 herbs. You're fine. How many people work in the doctor? How many village doctors do I have? Yeah, I may free up a village doctor for just... Okay, right now herbs are currently just hanging out, so that's fine. Uh, his hunger's fine. I am, hey, it's day 80, I'm getting closer and closer and closer to time. Here, I'm gonna do a third forester. Everyone's happy, no one's poisoned. I only need one village doctor because no one's currently poisoned. I'm just going to speed things up a little bit. Okay, you guys are at 92% on scavenging. 95, 96. Once I get this, I'm going to pause it just to pick the next scavenging place. He's still sleeping. So I want you guys to go scavenge more knowledge for me. Because knowledge is definitely a resource that is not easy to find. Uh... Okay, so the the cottage, <clears throat> the cottage can house four people. I'm not sure how much I actually care that much about them having cottages. To be perfectly honest, I think I feel like the scout tower is more useful.
Yeah, I feel like the scout tower is going to be more useful to me. So I can see for further. My food production is improving with the addition of these new farmers. Good morning, Kira. Hello, hello. Talk like a pirate day. I was actually was a, I was aware of that when I woke up this morning. Now that I think about it, probably could have played Sea of Thieves, but also it's it's a nice Monday. It's a nice surprise Monday stream because I'm uh, not working today. I'm not working until the afternoon today, which is unlike my normal. Uh, usually I would be working today. I mean, you're not actually planning that much, but... Yeah, I had... One of my colleagues went on vacation, so... She is not going to be... She's not able to work this afternoon, so they needed me to come in and work instead. So I've got the afternoon shift today instead of the morning shift. Okay, the berry gather does just have a tree as part of its thing. Yeah, polenta's not the most efficient food. Berry muesli is. Yeah, people aren't super pleased with housing quality, but I have enough housing for everyone that lives here so they can kiss my ass. Because these, these huts house house six people. The next, the next step up is the... Alright. The next step up after this is the cottage. But the cottage only houses four people. Yeah, I currently have six workers. And with how long he's been resting, I'm actually probably gonna be able to hit up these settlements too. So that's so that's good. I'm not sure how much I... Now I'm thinking about how much do I really need these guys to be harvesting cactus. I mean, they're getting... They are getting water. I'm going to send a party to a settlement and see if they can harvest... If they can bring some more people here. Also, with Anbu, let's let's toss him some food so he's not a hungry boy. His poison level is only at 11, so not worth giving him medicine right now. The herbalist is just working on herbs. Making lots of compost. I'm on day 82. I wonder if there's going to be a point where it gives me three directions to choose. So if I head this way, it's going to be poison. I don't know what, what's, that, what's going to be out this way. That's why Scout Tower is one of my... as another one that I'm thinking about. I think if I, if I do... If I do wheat harvesting, then I'm going to have to research the things that follow wheat harvesting. 
And the things that harvest wheat harvesting are the windmill and our windmill and bakery. I'm I feel like I'm I feel like saving up uh the build co okay, build oh no no what am I what am I talking about? So I would need more iron and glass to build a scout tower. Uh, Got to research wheat harvesting. The tomato plantation might might be helpful since they're heat resistant. This would be a nice place for him to rest, but he also doesn't really need to rest. He's at 6%. He'll be fine. One of these. One of my villagers should be called Kira Iros soon. I need Phantom. Pokey catch. Phantom's the small one, so I'm gonna do Great Ball. How, real quick, how many Great Balls do I have? Am I, am I out of focus for you guys? Ooh, uh, let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can fix that. Yes, uh, video. So let me... Oh, uh, crap. Uh, I don't have any of that stockpiled yeah if I if I had people if I had resources stockpiled they would have been a little bit better oh well output Oh, quality, oh, latency. Okay, I'm gonna. I want. I feel like quality is better for this than. I feel like it's better if it if the quality is better than, if the performance is better. I think people. Hopefully, people can forgive a little bit more. In terms of things being. Every now and then dropping a frame compared to every now and then dropping, being pretty much on unviewable at whatever at whatever focus this is on because I just looked at my because on on OBS this looks fine but on stream manager this looks atrocious yeah Yeah, this looks atrocious on Stream Manager. Uh, let's see if I can fit. Uh, let's see if I can fix that for you. sure which path to take the next crossroads. If I go south, I'm going to go into a, a heat spot. I'm going to continue south. I 
Hey, if, just, just curious. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vote myself. Just want to see something. I have a feeling that it's just that my. I have a feeling that my graphics card is just having trouble doing both the stream and doing both the stream and the other things. Let's see settings, graphics. How about, if I do medium quality textures, is that. That'll put a little bit less strain on the graphics card? I mean, really, I feel like even that, that's not even that bad. Pick up settlers. scavenge party. I'm just just scavenge for for these guys. Hello, hello, Janu and his raiders. How you doing? I'm I'm Dr. White Cat. Uh, please tell please forgive me for the quality right now. I'm trying to fiddle with that right now. Uh, I've been trying to I think what I'm I think I'm ending up giving a little bit too much I think putting a little bit too much strain on my graphics card to stream to try to stream it and play the game. So I'm trying to I know that it looks bad right now and I'm just trying to fiddle with it. Uh See if I switch the encoding settings over to quality. Is that going to make things look a little bit better? But anyway, uh, what were you guys? It looks fine to you. Okay, it must just be me. Looks okay, just like radiation went off. Oh, are you talking about on my on the video on my video itself? Okay. Alright. Well, in any case, uh, never mind, I lightened up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is Wandering Village. It's a colony building simulation. Must be a night day switch. Yeah, probably. It's a colony building simulation. Uh, where you are building your colony on the back of a, bi a big kaiju. His name is Anbu. He's, he's a very good boy. And uh, many of your decisions depend a lot on... Many of your decisions will affect how happy he is with you. Uh, and how much he trusts you. That trust is very important because as you're maneuvering around the map... You have to give him direct. You end up giving him directions to go here or there, uh, and friend, and something that it has a twitch integration for is that eat at the crossroads. You the chat can lighten up and sorry the chat can vote on whether or not Anbu actually listens to me. So you can either comply with what I want to do or try your best to hinder all progress. Right now I've got I've got my I've got him wandering through the desert because I'm growing wheat which grows fine in in the desert 
And I'm growing cactuses, which can produce water for me, since the normal way to get water is through air wells. But you guys say that, that it's looking pretty good to you, so I'm going to uh, change... I'm going to increase my texture quality, then. I can never remember what anti-aliasing is. Oh, wait. Oh, anti-aliasing is the thing that I want. Not not texture quality. Oh, I'm gonna still turn down texture quality to medium. Because really this is looking fine with the way the textures are going. Anbu's walking around. I've got, we're collecting, we collect his poop, we use that poop to make compost and to make, and to make biogas, which biogas is used for flamethrowers when poisonous plants come around. Hello, hello, Damon, uh, Demand the Myth. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate ya. It's probably not a cult. I think I might remove the uh what's your favorite animal thing just because it usually just because the text of speech doesn't really at least for me it's not very loud uh but it, that could also just be the way that my headset is is set up because there are certain things that are much louder there are some things that are ridiculously loud like uh Janu's walk-on command is very loud to me. But I could also just fix that in Firebot. We entered another desert biome. The temperatures are increasing even further. Okay. Uh, choose my next research. Uh, I have four knowledge, so I'm going to research the scout tower. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll fix. I can fix that in Firebot. I think I just have the the music turned up very high, so I will. I'll fix that out of stream. Off stream. Uh, what was about? To, oh, glass blower. Is this game Civilization style? If you mean like, do I have? Does it have like a hex? It is not in a hex pattern. Uh, it's more like, it's more, I guess you'd say more like a SimCity type of thing. Uh, city skylines, surviving Mars. Basically the whole goal is to build, is to build a civilization on the back of this giant beast. As he meanders around through the, through the desert, or maybe not so much through the desert. Yeah, old old Warcraft, but I don't have to fight anyone. Yeah, I'm not fighting anyone for anything. It's not I don't so I don't have to have like towers. It's more so about managing resources and trying not to die. Now, what's your hunger? You're at twenty. Does it start? No, it doesn't start at a caveman and research to present age. Uh, the, re the research tree starts with... You start off with, like, with very basic things. A tent. A tent, a dirt road, a research building. Uh, like, material storage, water tank, pantry, berry gathering. And then you, over time, work into farming and... Farming and Iron Age stuff. Uh, currently, I'm researching glass blowing. But the basic idea, kind of the backstory of the game, is that there's been an, a, pan a like global pandemic of these poisonous spores, and you're part of a village that was forced to leave their area and become nomads to try to escape the spores, and then they found Anbu our giant kaiju friend here and decided to build a village on his back at the beginning he doesn't really trust you so he doesn't listen to anything I tell him to do 
But as you get further and further along, he, as you do things with him, he starts to earn your trust. One of the one of my favorite interactions is actually is actually petting him. You can pet him. So when you pet Anbu, I think it's easy, maybe easiest to see from the village screen. You basically you basically send a little hot air balloon up to his head. I'm waiting for them to actually do the thing I told them to. Oh, they're preparing. Yes, the whole village is wandering because it's on the back of an animal. Okay. Wait, now I'm doing the pet Anbu. This is this is petting Anbu. So I land a little hot air balloon on his head. And then you get and then you got pet. He gets pets. And he gets and he's very happy with all the pets. Yes. I've been trying my best to avoid Let's See, party past the muddy spot. Need to be in quicksand. I'm going to commit Ah. Uh, okay, I lost I lost someone. Also, Jed died. What did Jed die of? Why did... I don't know why Jed died. We've got... F we've got food. Was he just old? That's not cool. Uh, Andrej, Michelle... One, I wish you could cycle through all the villagers. Because some of these villagers do have the names of people in chat. Uh, Justine. I bet I have to find them. Grizz. Erwin. Park. Patton. Rosina. Louie. A lot of them just have random names, but there are... There are people out here that are named for people in chat. Eleanor. Oh, there's Alpha Creeper. Aldrich. Yeah, I just kind of run into them every now and then. We've got double heat waves. But luckily... Uh, still got 103... Well, with it, they're, they're getting cactus, so everything's fine. We're cooking. We've got plenty of... Yeah. We've got plenty of corn hanging around. Everyone, they're cooking. They're cooking up polenta and berry muesli. Researching the scout tower. Wait. What's... Oh, shit. I don't have them scavenging anything. Quarry, a mine. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys to the mine. And at the next, all right. And at this next crossroads, I'm gonna. I think either I'm gonna wait to make the decision where we go, because I think either way I'm gonna I'm gonna be walking into a poison region. But. I think I'm probably better off heading south. So, screw it, I'm gonna head south. So everyone, take a vote. Will Anbu listen to me when I tell him to go south? Anyone have a problem with Anbu going south? You can tell him yes, you can tell him no. No. No, no, say yes or no, Janu. It's a yes or no question. Anbu does not trust my command. He will not. Uh, shit. Demand. I, I, I know it's... I, I keep wanting to say Damon instead of Demand. Even though I have, when I look at it, I know that it should be D 
dumb man. I have still got 119 wood there. It's fine either way. Uh, maybe not. Because Anbu's gonna become constipated heading north. <laughs> Cause he's probably gonna decide to eat some taste looking stones unless I, unless I feed him. And make him a not, and make him a not hungry boy. Also it's day 87. Yeah, for some I was like, can you not use comp? There, I'm making, I made, I have compost now, so it should also speed up the production of food. We've got one person collecting dung. You guys are getting saplings. I have 11 saplings. These guys up here plant the saplings for wood. But, yeah, this is 4x. Gonna speed the, gonna speed up even more. Especially since right now I don't really have any. Everyone's employed and running around. Uh, Benny, Wendy, Michelle. Tessie, Johanna, Matadillo, Joella, Hilton, Sarit, Benny, Wendy. Okay. He will rest eventually. We're heading quickly north. There was gonna be a cold. Oh yeah, there was gonna be a cold snap south of me. I'm gonna send a party to get more water. Ah, maybe maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have sent him over to the shrine. Oh well. I think I'm probably going to be fine anyway. No tools available. Uh, okay, wheat. Wheat can't grow here. So, we're gonna keep it. Alright, so this is too hot for wheat. But luckily, but I'll, I'll honestly, I don't really need wheat that much anyway. He's probably gonna go to sleep. When I go through. So, when I go through here, it'll, it'll be probably fine. Maybe if I, if I keep his hunger down, I still have two more food. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't cook, but I can't grow mushrooms in this weather. I did not realize that. Anbu's resting, he's gonna be sleepy. Okay, you guys are out of compost. Scavengers, how close? Oh. Oh, I did not even see that they had already come back. Go to the shrine. I currently don't have knowledge. But, tomato plantation or windmill? You know what? Wait, what, what, what am I currently researching? Uh, Scout Tower. Okay. Tomato Plantation will be the next thing. 
Just because I, because having different food sources is still a valuable resource. Okay, we need, uh, we need to feed him. I want to feed him so that he is not hungry at all. Because if he's not hungry at all, he shouldn't eat. I don't. I don't think he'll eat the things that'll constipate him. Anbu, please, for the love of God, do not eat that. I don't want you to become constipated. Good. Okay. Oh, now it's now it's cold. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to switch you guys to beets, to growing beets. Because at least beets will grow in this weather. Oh, so it's day 90, and I really want to see day 100. I've been told day 100 has some crazy stuff happen. At least that's the impression that I get. I never... I've never had to knock on wood. But I know someone who has, and I feel it isn't good. It's the impression that I get. Oops, scavenging party is back. They've found... Knowledge. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys into a mine. Scavenging party already came back with. Already came back. All right. Uh, let's do the ruined settlement. I guess at 4x speed, everything is going to go much faster. Almost like that's the whole point of 4x. Okay, we're not going... Luckily, we're not going that quickly through all this corn. So I'll be able to stockpile beets. Uh, my berry muesli is... Berry muesli is going fine. Because I've got... Lots and lots of berry being gathered. Oh, oh, that I don't know why why it's taking me so long to realize that that loud thumping noise that I'm hearing is Anbu's heart. Are you guys sure that the that that the graphics look fine? Because when I look at it for myself, it is not. Because when I look at it on my on my phone, everything looks very fuzzy. And my stream and my stream manager preview also looks very fuzzy. I'm gonna go south. I'm gonna go south. Uh, 
Uh, yes, he will comply. There. Scouting party brought back 20 bread. That's 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 good. Oop, get more in, send you send you there to get knowledge. Okay, I'm on day 93. And I have six weeks. Hey, the... All right, scout tower. Okay, eh. Okay, I can only put the scout tower on... Yeah, absolutely building a scout tower. Uh, currently reaching the tomato, research in the tomato plantation. If one bit was laying down, we'd have medium toxicity. Wait, is my encoding section? Is it an encoding thing that I'm having trouble with? People are telling me that, that it looks fine to them, but it doesn't feel like it looks fine to me when I look at it myself. And I'm not trying to harp on that, but if it's if it's looking bad to everyone else, if, it, if it's fu as fuzzy as it looks like to me, ooh. Oh, it's because I'm walking through this toxic cloud. Everyone, destroy the plants. This is probably also not the best place to be. When I finally hit, when I finally hit day 100. No, poison plants everywhere. This is very, very dramatic music. Air toxicity is low, ground toxicity would be high. My 
my scavenging party are gonna get more knowledge. Another mysterious, uh, another thing that's probably gonna have a lot of toxicity when I reach it. A dead un- ooh! Thank truly a sad sight. This could have been our fate as well, but we managed to pull through thanks to great cooperation and not least of all, your guidance. We should build something to commemorate our continued survival, a monument to cooperation. It might even be a good opportunity for me to finally pass the torch of village leader. Anbu, this is probably the last possible time you should be doing this. Anbu! Anbu, you need to move right now. Yes. Well, the other thing is that Anbu got tired and he laid down in a place that is very toxic to him. Okay. Now you now you can walk. Jeez, Anbu. Yeah, the problem is that now my Okay. Village doctors need to be need to work. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna max up my village doctors because that is a very important thing. Well, th I mean, he's a, he's sleepy. I guess I'll make tomato. I guess to, I guess we'll grow tomatoes. A beet soup. Yeah, how many? How many people are poisoned? Six. Ooh, fuck. Uh, I have 40 people that are poisoned. Uh, I've got three village doctors running around trying to take care of it, but I've got a limit. I've got a limit to how much, to how many uh, herbs I have. Also, mo ooh, no, most of my. Most of my yeah, and Anbu does need to be more like Falcor and worry about people on his back. Oh no, people are dying to poison. It's because he's laying down. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what direction I go here. And I, I feel like probably south is going to be better, but... I, guess, yeah. I don't... Yeah, I need a war... Yeah. Oh, on the plus side, we're going to be using less food since people have died. Since a couple people died, but... At least, at least we're gonna be okay. At least the entire village isn't getting wiped out, and that that feels like a very, uh, like a little bit of a very unfortunate thing to. I feel like that's gonna be foreshadowing. I currently have a hundred percent efficiency here. 
And uh, my compost heat person died. Beet soup and berry muesli. Okay. Who are the idle, who are my idle workers? Uh, workplace is the iron furnace. Uh, well, I don't really need, all right, I'm gonna take you out because I don't need someone working iron. Don't really, at this exact second need glass. I'm trying, I'm just trying to shift people out. Uh, who else is idle? Uh, scavenger hut, the saw, the sawmill, why are you idle? Oh, uh, you're idle. Uh, I'm gonna stop the sawmill for right now. Uh, Benny, your workplace is the Anbu kitchen. The quarry, which I think... Yeah, I'm... I'm doing fine on stone for the time being. I don't need nearly as many people working there. Uh, so either direction I go, I'm going to be walking into into a poisoned land. Great. Okay, also, I reached day 100. There's supposed to be something that happens here that is very sad. That's either very sad or just huge. Okay. How many people are idle? Who are the... Uh, hey, you're... You're idle because you don't have... Because it isn't pooped. You, you work at the decontaminator... Uh, I only need one person working the decontaminator. You work in res oh, you work in research. Uh, yes, start researching the bakery. Uh, glass. I need glass and iron. This makes me feel like I prob. This makes me feel like at this point I should have already had glass, a lot of glass and iron, but I did not. See, so I'm currently sitting at 380. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I need fewer. I don't need as many people working on wood. Mostly, I've got mostly wood is. Yeah. I feel like mostly wood is is high because I was just clear cutting the land here. Okay, I'm gonna disable the forester for now because I don't need because I don't I'm currently very well off on wood and there's a bunch of wood just sitting here if I need it. Which also means I don't really need the tree nursery. Yes, I absolutely need more need more villagers here. All right, one person to make flour. Uh, 
I'm going to ass I'm going to assume that most likely bread is a very good resource. Is it good food? Just just pushing out food. Oh, I'm. Oh, what what speed do I have on Vuat? Oh, he's. I know. Isn't that it's particularly fast? It's that I. It seemed like he was running very quickly. Okay, I don't need my village doctor anymore. Uh, actually, I do still need a village doctor. I'll I'll do two village doctors. Uh, food. Where's the pan? Where's the pantry? It's a. It's a little. It does get a little. Okay, I'm going into a cold snap. Uh, okay, beets, beets will grow in cold. Okay. I can at least harvest beets in the cold. Oh, that's mount. It's that's a mountain biome. Oh, why do I think? Uh, mushrooms aren't growing here. All right. On boo food. Toss him some food so he doesn't. And I do also. I also need to do some. Give him an antidote. Because he's been exposed to lots and lots of poison. Now we're researching the bakery. My plan is to put the bakery right here. Right next to the windmill. Another, I've got another pantry. I need to build one scout tower anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. They're currently scavenging for knowledge. I probably should send them to a settlement after this. Send them to the settlement. Because really, what, what knowledge is left to... What, what are the major knowledges to research? A deep quarry, which will... It produces stone by drilling into on Anbu's back, but I'm not. I don't really want that. Anbu kitchen, the feeding, trebuchet, the lax. I mean, really. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Really, that's... I'm not really that worried about most of these other ones. I mean, I can work on them, but... Eh. Because I don't really want to use his... I'm trying not to hurt Anbu. Like, I'm gonna, I can fill out the whole tech tree, but I'm... If I don't have to hurt Anbu, I'm not going to. Because Anbu's my buddy. Did 
additional pantry. I mean, you're bringing beets. Once I have the bakery, I will. Count a group of nomads? Yes, I'll pick up nomads. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back on the village doctor. I think the herbs don't. Yeah, the herbs aren't gonna grow in this weather. unemployed people. Hmm. How about I put it? I could put a worker's hut over here. I'm gonna send you guys to a settlement because I'm more interested now in. I'm much more interested right now in settlers than I am in knowledge. I'm going to make you guys carriers. No, no, I'm going to make you guys carriers. I just that cuz that should help move things around and get things moving better. Out of I'm at day 105 now, but I don't, I feel like, I feel, I feel like people made a big deal about day 100 and it really doesn't seem to be that big a deal as far as I can tell. Scavenging party's already back. send you back here send I guess I'll send you over to the mine to get more iron ore iron ore eight iron I can't grow mushrooms right now. But if I've got five people whose only job is to go around collecting, collecting things, should be fine. Uh, I feel like I think it'd be worth getting sand. And I'm gonna turn us south at the next. Alright, all right guys, do we want do we want to be going south at, at the next intersection? I do.
Ten, ten more hours and the cold weather will stop. guys just get me out of this cold weather spot all right currently have 29 saplings I don't need to have all these guys on me One hour until the end of the cold spell. Yeah, research tree. Let's move faster on stone roads. He doesn't like the feeding pump, so I. I guess I've got enough to do the stone roads of the cottage. I'm gonna do the I'll, I'll do cottage stone road. Uh. I don't know, blood extractor. Which also means I can build a bakery. Okay, we're in cold temperatures that are cold. Uh, wheat, wheat will so wheat will grow here. We won't grow. Okay, so. Berries and beets. Poor unemployed workers, so might as well get them working on mushrooms. Here, make make compost. Got ninety five wheat right now. All right, and now we're going to make bread. The water production's fine. We've got full water tanks. scavenging for sand to make more glass I guess at this point just getting sand is gonna be fine just to build this I guess just to build the scaven this our monument to survival Disable it. Uh, we can have one person working on glass blowing now. It takes seven. Okay, so it takes seven sand to make one one glass. But now I've just given us a new source of food.
Yeah, I previously wasn't running in running that much into a problem with with poison, so I didn't really worry that much about having about having a lot of space for the herbalist to grow things. Uh, wheat still grows in the desert. Beets do not, but tomatoes do. Durant. Great ball. I, I'm going to run out of great balls soon enough, sooner or later. I know I will. Okay, I guess it is doing fine. So I had to open it up. I opened it up in a different. Okay. It's just weird that in so many places that I'm looking, then both the my phone looks like shit and my that the phone looks like shit and the other my other picture looks like shit. But whatever. And my stream manager preview looks cr terrible, but it'll be okay. Okay. Right. More scavenging. But, uh, but also cactus farming. Okay, right now my food production is far outpace is outpacing consumption by a good amount. Especially now that I've got okay, so wheat farming works many time much of the time. Tomatoes grow here. Growing tomatoes and cactuses. Desert, deserts are very good for finding sand. I mean, I think that's probably pretty apparent. That would be pretty obvious, but... Uh, we've got... Okay, let's feed on Boo. Because his hunger is currently at 50%. Okay, his hunger's decreased by 30. All right, I'll feed him again shortly. <laughs> Can continue to feed him. Uh, the doctor. Currently, he's doing all right. You guys can use compost to grow mushrooms since much of the time the mushrooms are not growing the way that we want them to. Yeah, so now I've got bread, now I've got bread being produced, I've got
Where are you going? Oh, you're just going to get bread. People are happy because I've got more food variety for them now that we're making bread. People aren't big fans of housing, but whatever. Oh, I can only pick up three more nomads with my current housing setup. Okay, well now food is far outpacing everything. Now food's far outpacing population, so we're good. The workers are now just carrying stuff around. Alright, I, I think this is a pretty good place to leave things off for now. Uh, let's see who's around for raiding. Who is currently... Uh, streaming that we know. Uh, looks like sh all right. Looks like Shao. Looks like Shao's on. So Picked up water and sand. Good. Currently sitting on 14 sand. Uh, looks like right now Shao's... Okay. Alright, well it looks like Shao is currently on a be right back. Eh, yeah, but screw it. I'll, I, I can send... I'll, so I'm just going to keep an eye on... I'm going to keep an eye on her for when she comes back and then I'll... And then we'll raid. Hopefully it should only be a minute. Because I do have to go to work. I'd have to start getting ready for work soon. But, uh. Currently, I'm only using compost in my mushroom farming. Because they need, they need to make food for Anbu. Okay, that's still them. Wait, what's my water supply like? Wait. Wait. Uh, oh, I don't have any. Uh oh, I don't have water. I'm gonna use compost on cactus farming, cause it's kind of important that I've got uh, I've got water. It'll take 21 hours for them to mine to mine things out here. Uh, I'm probably going to go with sand. Now I'm going to send them to the oasis because it is, it would be important that we have water. Alright, looks like Xiao has gotten back from whatever she was taking a pause on. So I'm going to send you guys over there. She's currently playing Cuphead, it looks like. I, I appreciate all you that are here. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I will, s 
I'm gonna send you over to Shell. Send her my love. I'm gonna be with you, but uh, send her my love, and yeah, I will see you folks some other time. Bye bye.